it's time for some encouragement in the Word of God, Romans 8, 31 and 32. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own Son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him graciously give us all things? First of all, what are these things? Well, to find the answer to that, you have to look above. These things that are mentioned above are the fact that we have no condemnation in Christ. Through Christ we have life, eternal life, and peace. We've been adopted by God the Father. We have received the Holy Spirit who leads us and who prays for us. We have a future so glorious that nothing on earth can compare to that future. So these things are really good things. What shall we say when we consider these things? What should be our response to these really good things? If God is for us, who can be against us? So, if God has done all this for us in Christ, then he is clearly on our side. If we are clearly on God's side, then nobody can truly be successful in opposing us. Nobody can truly be against us. Then Paul goes further. He takes us back to how we obtained all these things. He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. God didn't spare his own son to put us on his side. If God gave up his most precious beloved son, whom he was in eternal loving communion with, if he did that, then when we are in need, any kind of need, how will he not also with him graciously give us all things? If the greatest act of grace was already done for us through the giving of God's Son, then we can count on the fact that when it comes to other things, he will be just as gracious to us and the proof is the grace that bought us. If you are in Christ, have confidence that you are on God's side and that he is looking out for you.